This is a <coughs> HW8 that I'm about to repair and put up for sale on eBay. The serial number is, uh, model is HW-8, of course. His series number, which I assume is a serial number, 16-44466. Um, this is the radio that you'll be buying, hopefully. Anyway, um, I've done oh, 9 or 10 of these radios over the last few years. They're pretty easy to repair, and uh, <clears throat> you can get a look inside here. The only thing I see here that's uh, not stock is this capacitor right here. Normally, there's a little piece of metal that's bent over it. Uh, I checked the value of this capacitor, and it's correct, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, what I'm going to do right now is go ahead and do an alignment on it, because it doesn't receive, or I don't know if it transmits, I haven't tried it, but it doesn't receive. Uh, so I'm going to do an alignment. Make sure that everything's in within specs, and then if it still doesn't receive, it'll work from there. So what I'll be using is this uh, signal generator right here. You can see that. I just re restored that. Finished it yesterday. Be using that. Um, this frequency counter, a data precision frequency counter. Of course, my oscilloscope. Um, if you don't have an oscilloscope, you can do a lot of tests here with a, a vacuum tube voltmeter, which I have two, but I'd rather use the oscilloscope. It's, uh, and uh, so let's get started on it. Well, we're back. It's been four or five days uh, since the last video, and I want to show you what I've done to this. Start with I replaced the VFO. I bought a brand new one from a place in Florida. The uh, one that was in here had missing wafers, and uh, it's brand new. It's not used, not <clears throat> not out of another radio. It's played in some Florida that, for some reason or other, has a whole bunch of them. They're just manufactured. Uh, it's on eBay. If anybody's interested, they're twenty bucks. I upgraded the Q1 here as part of the receiver. Um, it calls for an MPF uh, 105, but I did some research and found out that an MPF 102 is a better uh, JFET for it. It enhances the receiving, which did quite a bit. It's uh, this radio really receives. I'll show you that later. Q2 is right under here. It's part of the VFO, and it was it wasn't working. It was shot. So I replaced that um, with an original uh, MPF 105. Uh, that one is fine for that um, for that JFET. Replaced the Zener diode right here. It wasn't working, and back in the system here, um, you're supposed to be getting 13.8 volts. I think I was getting no. You're supposed to get nine volts out of the Zener diode, and I wasn't getting anything. So replace that. That took care of that problem. It's working fine. The wide narrow switch right here wasn't working. Um, turned out it was a broken wire further down in here. Uh, the receiver, I lined the receiver, and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> Repaired the power meter. Power meter here, the wafer that has the numbers on it, the little sign in the front, was kicked out. And so when the needle came up, it's, it hit that and it froze there. So I took that out, took it apart, glued the a little picture down that has the numbers on it took care of that problem um, the power transistor the final right here was an original it wasn't working it was bad and so I uh, replaced that with a, a 2N uh, 4427 which I use in all these HW8s and it's, it's a good power transistor uh, final um, also there was a solder bridge in this underneath it took a while to figure that one out it was a direct short somebody soldered and Got a nice little bridge from one place to another. That didn't work out. So now I'm going to go ahead and hook up the uh, oscilloscope here. And I'll show you the um, the readings for uh, for the receiver to start with. Hook it right here to 94. Let me see if I can get this without shutting everything off. Just turn it over to the oscilloscope. Right there. Okay. All right. So we'll turn the radio on. And that is, um, start at the, at the top. This is 15 meters, which is peaked, tweaked, peaked to that. Uh, and uh, this is 20 meters, whoops, 40 meters, and 80 meters. So 80 meters is the strongest receive. That's, I think that's pretty common on these radios. It's funny because it's not always the strongest transmit. Anyway, that's the receive portion. Um, let me get this off here, and uh, we'll take it over to the 
power meter. Hold on a second. I don't really want to turn this off if I can help it. Um, I'll have to kind of do this one-handed, but you'll get the idea. Okay. Get that out of the way. Let me get this out of my hand here. Back off. All right. Okay, for the power out, uh, I'm going to start with 80 meters. The This is the... Make sure everything's hooked up here, right? Don't want to burn anything out. Okay, this is the the um, oops. This is the power out uh, relative meter. Here on the on the watt meter, you can see it's oh, it's just about well, it's over one watt actually. Okay, we'll go to uh, 40 meters next. Same thing. Watch the. That's maximum power out. Actually, it's a little bit. It'll be low, but it'll be all right. I could tweak it, I guess. I guess I better. Um, let's see if I can do it this way. Uh, there we go. Maximum power out. Okay. Now we'll look at the watt meter. Maximum power out. And it's uh, same thing, right around one watt. We'll go to 20 meters. Let's see if it's just showing here. Is this maximum power out? Yeah. And it's uh, same thing. Oops, same thing. And we'll go to 15 meters. Right there, 15 meters, and um, the relative uh, relative power out is max. Not quite max. Let me do it again here. It's uh, okay, and we're getting uh, just under a watt on that one. Just under a watt. Anyway, that's the radio. I will uh, hook it up. Close the top, hook it up, and later today I'll um, see if I can make some contacts on it. Also let you hear what the uh, receive sounds like. I can hook it up to a little speaker amplifier setup I have. Now, understand that these radios don't have a speaker, and so you're going to need a headset. And uh, this is my headset here. It's not part of the radio. But when I hook up the, the amplifier and speaker, that's not part of the deal. You're going to need a key, an antenna, headset, and a power supply. We'll be back after a while. Okay, I'm gonna try to get <clears throat> try to get some sound through the head through the headphones. Well, that's just to give you a sampling of it. I'm running a, about a 20-foot piece of wire. That's it. That's what all I have for an antenna, and it's about three, you know, about six feet off the ground. And I'm pulling. I live in Texas, and I'm pulling stations in from Midwest up around Minnesota, Michigan. Uh, nothing on the East Coast with my little wire, but um, pretty good. This is probably one of the best receivers I've seen in an HW8. So. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and uh, I hope you're interested in bidding on it. Um, I want to remind you that the headphones don't, and the key don't come with it. It's uh, just the radio. Thanks for thanks for watching.